Another name. Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder. Perhaps the Queen? you tell us the story of the giant that stole Thor's hammer? Happily, my boy. It involves your friend Freya, too, though I don't expect it's one she'd enjoy being reminded of. The giant was called Grim, and he proved cunning enough to make off with Mjolnir while the thunder lummock slept. Sadly for Frim, he didn't always think with his brain. Though he had robbed the greatest giant killer of his greatest weapon, he offered to trade it back to the Aesir in exchange for Freya as his bride. Now, at this point, Freya was married to Odin, and Odin, frankly, would have traded her for a sufficiently strong need, but he saw an opportunity here. Thrym's palace was in Jotunheim, and only giants know the way. By agreeing to the marriage, they'd have to escort Freya back to their realm. So, Odin coerced Freya into using her Sather magics to conceal Thor, so he could sneak along with her and infiltrate Jotunheim. When the hammer was produced as the wedding dowry, Thor revealed himself. He took back Mjolnir and wasted no time in smashing Thrym's skull, followed by every other giant present for the festivities. The only thing that put a stop to it was Freya, who wanted no part of this massacre. She cast a powerful spell that hurtled them both out of Jotunheim with no means of return. Odin was livid, hoping that Thor's foothold in Jotunheim would become his own. And oh, would he ever revenge himself upon Freya. What is the point of this story, Head? Well, for Thrym, the lesson would be to keep his priorities straight. For F Freya, it's that doing good has a price. For Thor, it's that no object of power makes you what you are. And if what you are is the biggest butchering bastard in the Nine Realms, nobody can take that away from you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were on the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean... Just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? 
Aye, a god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the giants working together. Where is this battle? No, I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Naturally. No. It's kind of hoping, though. So what now? <laughs> Move it or you may lose it, brother. Ah, a ski and do from my homeland. Used to have one of my own back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy. Take it. We might need a bite of bread somewhere in our travels. This is why no one likes you. Well, that's unfriendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for father. No. Careful, brother. Rhea's not here to bring you back if you're cutting too. Quiet.
What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. <laughs> Good or bad? <laughs> Not as simple as that, I'm afraid. Not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ah! Stands to reason the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the winds. To learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to.
More small passages. I know. Go. Go. I can't watch Bubba. Good luck. Those sovers here. Look, it's the wolf giants, Skull and Hati. That's right, the bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon, right? Did Tyr know him? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Hmm. Perhaps this isn't about speed at all. Is there someplace else the winds can go? Someone so loved, Tyr sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. Look, there's the wind trap. <laughs> ah, clever.
the wall. What? There are three of them! What do I do? Atreus, focus! You can do this! Please, honey! I don't know yet if I can drown! Okay, think. Hati's the silver one, he hunts the moon. Skull's gold and he chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy! So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, well, which bar do I pull? The right boy! Left! The middle! Can I get them in order? Blue left, sun right. The left! Right! Moon on the left, sun on the right. Midgard in the middle. Middle bar! Right! Middle! Quickly! Moon, Midgard, sun. Moon, Midgard, sun. Think! Right! That's something. Without stopping! Wait! What did that get chained for? Father! Above me! Boy! You have to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. To do? A knife? There's no other way! It's not working! That should have worked! saved you. That was cunning, boy. The room's free! I think we did it! Aye. Let's go see what Tears got for us. Oh no! Raised protection room! It rubbed off! What should we do? We keep going. There it is! We've got it! it. 
That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. Aim for the face. Oh, 